Just recent, ByteDance, which is the parent company of TikTok, has open sourced its native cross-platform UI framework called Lynx. Lynx is a Rust-powered JavaScript framework that designed for cross-platform app development. Here comes the real question. Why ByteDance built Lynx rather than adopting similar JavaScript framework like React Native? Here are the three main reasons. Firstly, performance. While React Native was using single-threaded JavaScript bridge, which means UI and logic share the same thread, this could lead to potential bottleneck during heavy computation. Now, links have improved by introducing dual-threaded architecture, which separates UI and logic running in different threads, which reduces lag in complex apps. One of the key features of dual-threaded architecture is that it now supports instant first-frame rendering, which means that your page can display content directly when it is loaded without a widescreen or other intermediate states. To achieve instant first-frame rendering, the main content of the page must be loaded synchronously. If your page needs to request network data or perform any asynchronous operation, links will still show the white content while transitioning. Secondly, Popular languages. Links render native components and run on JavaScript. If you're already using React Native or you have experience on any JavaScript framework like Angular, Vue, or React, moving to Links have a lower learning curve. This attracts more JavaScript engineers to contribute to the framework. Links also get mentioned alongside Flutter, but they are solving different problems. Flutter uses Dart language, and if you are coming from web, Flutter can feel like learning a new platform entirely. Lastly, ownership. React Native is open source, but it's still driven by Facebook. For a company like ByteDance, that's a dependency, and maybe an uncomfortable one. Building links wasn't just about making something faster or more flexible. It was about taking control of a critical part of their stack. Just like in Flutter, Community has been urging for improvement, but seems not being entertained by Google. So the community decided to fork Flutter by creating a direct copy called Flock to handle community features. In conclusion, Lynx has a solid fundamentals, but the ecosystem around it, like the libraries, tools, community support, will take time to grow. If you face performance issue on React Native application, worth to give a try on Lynx. Let me know what do you think about this new JavaScript mobile framework in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.